Hey guys, it's Joe from PocketNow.com and today I really wanted to show you about a desktop app that ties in with your Android phone called Android Desktop Notifier. It's kind of like Chrome to phone, but in reverse. It lets your Android phone send notifications about phone calls, text messages, all kinds of stuff to your desktop over your Wi-Fi network or over Bluetooth. After several hours, I couldn't get it to work. So instead, I'm going to show you what I think is cooler, which is sending those same notifications to your watch. Let's go take a look. Okay, on the left, I've got my Nexus One, and on the right, I've got my Sony Ericsson Bluetooth watch. Now, through an app called OpenWatch, which is available free in the Android market and is actually available for other smartphone platforms like BlackBerry and Windows Mobile too, I can pair this watch to this phone and get notifications right to the watch's LCD screen. You can hook this up to all kinds of different watches uh, and even some what they call bracelets, but don't let that turn you off, guys. They're little metal bands that go around your wrist, has an LCD panel on it that isn't a watch, so what are you going to call it? But it'll let you do that too. Those you can get from places like ThinkGeek. These you can find online. They're really not making them much anymore, but they're really super cool. Then with apps like OpenWatch, you can do neat things with them. So first, let me show you what a standard message looks like. Let's go ahead and send a test over and look at the watch over here. We'll send that and immediately, there you go, it's got the information that I'm running Open Watch version 1.10. Uh, if we wanted to do some other information, you can. You can go in and get information from the watch itself, like the firmware. But let me show you, everything in here you can send to the watch. Phone calls, SMS, MMS, Gmail, K9 Mail, Google Talk, Calendar, Alarm, Music, external apps. This has an API so you can have an app that talks to this app that talks to the watch. So you don't have to build all of the open watch stuff into your app to be able to send messages to the watch. Twitter, Twidroid, uh, Mundu IM, some other IMs, just lots and lots of stuff. It's got support for several Bluetooth watches. And I'll just let you take a look at that list. and a whole bunch of stuff that you can configure in here. So, really quite cool. And I've got it set to auto start right now. You can even pull information from the watch by doing a firmware check. So right now it's telling the watch, hey, I wanna know what firmware you're running. The watch says, oh, okay, here you go. That's the firmware. So, two-way communication on there, it's pretty neat. And it doesn't interfere with being able to use a, a head or a hands-free headset or a car kit or anything like that. So let's go ahead and start sending some messages over so you can see what it looks like. Okay, off camera I have just composed an email on my wife's Android G1 and sent that over to my Gmail account and we should see it show up here on the watch momentarily. It does take a little bit of time because I've got an email forward uh, in between. So that routing takes a minute. But as you can see here, I've got a new email from my wife, and there's her email address if you want to send her uh, happy wishes and whatnot. Remember, be nice. Kind of cool. Let's go ahead and look at some other stuff. Alright, for this test I've got the screen of the Android turned off, and I'm going to send a regular text message over to my phone. So we'll send that now. You can see we've got the pulse indicator showing that I've got new email. And right there, it shows up as a new text message, and it'll show you the contents of the text. Now, another thing that it's doing is the watch is vibrating while it's doing this. So it's letting you know, hey, you have a new message, and it didn't show you the text of that text message, but it lets me see easily, hey, I've got a new text I need to read. This doesn't work presently with Google Voice text messages, so that's something that I'd like them to add. It doesn't do it right now. Last, let's go in and show you what a phone call looks like. Okay, placing the phone call right now, it's going out over Google Voice, so it's going to take an extra couple seconds while it negotiates for that Google Voice line. Phone is ringing on the sending end. Second ring, and you can see here, move that off screen, it shows my wife's name, Natalie Levi. 
that she's the one that's calling. The phone is vibrating, the watch is vibrating. It's really quite cool to see that I've got somebody calling right here and I can send it to voicemail or to voicemail just really easy by touching one of these buttons. So, you know, it's not quite as cool as what I'd intended to show you, or maybe it's cooler. Uh, showing in these same types of notifications going to the screen on your computer, yeah, that's neat. But having them on your wrist, right there, so you can see them at any time. Oh, and by the way, it also tells time, if you couldn't tell, because it is a watch. I mean, that's just really cool. Um, you can also tell when you're getting too far away from your phone. It'll tell you that uh, it's disconnected. Uh, and, of course, if your watch goes too far away from your phone, that will tell you on the phone as well that your watch is disconnected if it wanders away for whatever reason. But really cool. I like it a lot, and this is what I use every day to help me be a little bit more in touch and a little bit more tech-savvy. Uh, if you want to go ahead and do this, finding these watches is kind of tough. Finding the Bluetooth bracelets from ThinkGeek, relatively easy, relatively inexpensive. So go ahead and give it a try. If you want to keep up to date with cool stuff like this, I mean, this isn't just Android phones. This is stuff that makes using your phone better. To do that, you've got to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We put all kinds of cool stuff up there, and we've just passed a thousand videos. So thank you for watching and, and tuning in. If you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions or comments, put those down in the comments down below. And as always, I'm Joe for PocketNow.com.